This image was not taken in the Amazon or the Indonesian rainforests. This is recent footage taken of industrial clear fell logging on the outskirts of Melbourne. And this logging is happening in publicly owned natural forests, not artificial plantations. And this forest is critical habitat for many of Victoria's endangered species. This shocking scene is the work of Victoria's Andrews Labor Government and its logging corporation, Vic Forest. These operations feed logs to the Reflex paper factory at Maryvale and a large sawmill recently purchased by the Labor Government to help it win a marginal seat at the next state election. And within the Labor Party, the CFMEU logging union faction now dictates Victoria's forest conservation policy. I want this fixed. I don't care who fixed it, whether it's Daniel Andrews or Porky Pig. Timber! No! I say timber, you say no! Timber! No! Timber! And this scene is just one fragment of Australia's largest continuous area of logged natural forest extending for over 15 kilometres along the Royston Range and the Rubicon State Forest. The total area clear felled here in four years since Labor came to power is now larger than 700 Melbourne cricket grounds. And this logging is being repeated all over Eastern Victoria. How can Premier Dan Andrews be proud of this? The destruction of Victoria's natural environment on this staggering scale shows just how far the Labor Party has moved away from its proud history of protecting our country's natural heritage. It was past Labor governments that created the Kakadu and Uluru Katadjuta National Parks. They saved the Franklin River from damming and rescued the tropical rainforests of Queensland and New South Wales from logging. In Victoria, truly progressive Labor governments declared the Grampians, the Alpine, the Great Otways and the Erinundra National Parks and many, many more. But Victoria's current Andrews Labor government is anti-environment. It has broken its election promise to protect our natural forests and create new reserves and now holds the shameful record of creating the least area of new conservation reserves for any state government in the past 60 years. So this November, when you cast your vote at Victoria's state election, just remember which parties are destroying our state's beautiful natural environment for the sake of their corporate and union mates.